What's up, everybody? Hello, everybody. It's Cindy here with Stamping Chick Creations. I am back on week three of our, um, I guess our three week series of our fall card. So this is our final week because I kind of got started late this month. So um, this will be our last series of these cards. If you are interested um, then um, in seeing some fall or some um, holiday cards coming up into what month are we going into October um, message me and let me know or if you would like uh, Halloween cards I don't generally do Halloween cards but that could be a good challenge for me um, let me know I'd love to hear your feedback if you're not yet subscribed to this channel please be sure to do that what happens is when you subscribe is that you actually are notified when I post a video so that way you're one of the first ones to know when a new video hits uh, my channel and that you get first view. So um, I'd love if you would subscribe to that and share this with your friends and ask them to subscribe as well. All right. So I have two more cards for you this week and I think you're going to love them. And of course it offers, um, it showcases the autumn leaf stamp set again. Um, and on both cards actually, and they're very different, but they're very, uh, different cards. Um, there's the same style cards of what I've done before. I've just changed up the papers. So let's get started and let's take a peekaboo. All right. So our very first card, um, is a fun fold. Cause you know me and I love my fun folds. Um, and this one actually uses, uh, copper clay, as our base color and this is a really fun fall color um, and it's one of the new in colors so if you're not familiar with the name that's why it's one of our in colors and I am really gravitating to this color actually um, so you can't see this on camera but what I do have here right here in the middle of the card is I have a score line so can you very faintly see that here okay so this is going to be a great great fun card for you all right so I am actually making um, this card have two layers. So I like to do this because I find sometimes that it really breaks up the designer series paper. So I'm using these pumpkins, but if I were just to put this here, um, it looks fine. It absolutely looks fine, no big deal. Um, but I just find that when you layer it with a piece of solid cardstock behind, it just makes it pop, right? So, um, and then what I do is I actually cut the, um, the solid color cardstock an eighth of an inch bigger than I would my designer series paper. I hate in inches, eighth of inches. Um, but I do tend to do this only because it does add such value to the card and such a great look. Um, so I'm having a struggling right now because I really don't want to cover up this beautiful side of the paper. But for the purpose of this card, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to glue this down very nicely like that. And then I'm gonna take this other piece that I have and I'll do the same. This paper pack is unfortunately on back order until the end of October. Um, but I will be having some at my soiree as a door prize. So you may be lucky enough to receive one of those. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is these look to be the same size, but, um, in fact, I think they're actually just a hair smaller than the other. Oh, no, actually they are the same size. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue one portion on the top of the card and one portion on the bottom. And what I'm calling bottom, I mean where the fold is. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to glue this down. So really all I've done is added a score line in the middle of my card front, okay? Um, and of course the measurements will be here for you. I think I actually have an original card here too that I will show you. Okay, so I'm just putting my glue down. And actually, you know what, if I wanted to, I could have actually done this and they would have matched up. I was not thinking, my apologies. Um, so when you have printed paper like this, you could actually match up your patterns. Um, so everybody kind of coordinates. So this pumpkin would have been up here. I should have reversed these. But anyway, nonetheless, um, this is going to be the inside of my card. So I can go ahead and um, glue this one down. So I will do that. It's just a standard four by five and a quarter piece. Nothing fancy about it. So I'm going to put this on the inside. 
like this. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fold on this score line that I had. I'm gonna use my bone folder and I'm just gonna get a nice crease on that. Okay, so what I wanna do next is I'm gonna kind of do this a little bit backwards. I'm actually gonna work on the inside of my card first. Um, not something we generally do. We usually work on the outside of the card and then go to the inside. But for this case, I wanna do the inside. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to bring in the stamp set. And this is Autumn Leaves. You've seen me showcase this um, in the past two series as well. So go back and watch those if you've missed them. Um, and I'm going to use this one. Autumn teaches, teaches us that change can be beautiful. And I love that sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to showcase that one. So I'm going to put it on my block. I'm going to try to do it straight. When you have a scripty font, sometimes it's hard to see if it's straight or not. Okay, and I am using Mossy Meadow for my ink. And my Mossy Meadow ink pad is very juicy. So it's brand spanking new. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that down on my rectangle. So if you're wondering where this rectangle came from, it's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Um, this actually came from this autumn leaves, uh, sweet. So it is actually the die, this die right here. Okay. And it does have little, um, teeny weeny weeny little dots along the edge of that. You see that? See, I, I kind of stamped this a little crooked, but it's okay. It's my card. This is my sample. I promise. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to actually pop this up so it's going to be an easel card if you're not familiar and I want to position this wherever however much of an angle I want for my card so how much of an, an easel do I want so I'm going to go about there which is kind of in the center of my bottom and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my dimensionals so you definitely need dimensionals for this so if as I'm throwing them around um so if you don't have dimensionals uh, this might be a little bit, um, may not work as, as well for you um, because the dimensionals actually serve the purpose of holding up your easel. So it, it gives it that little lip. So if you don't have that, it will not catch as well on here. Okay. All right. So now that my inside is done and I could add some more elements, like I could have stamped something here or whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to bring in, this is the coordinating ribbon that goes with the suite. And we have, um, with this set, there is also um, a copper, orange copper um, ribbon that I unfortunately don't have any more of. I used more of that than I did of this one, um, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna improvise and I'll show you the original card where I did still have some of the copper and you can see the difference. So this is tear and tape. It's two-sided tape. It's a product that we carry here at Stampin' Up. And um, it's awesome. It's very sticky. And I'm gonna just take my take your pick tool and I'm gonna use the um, piercer and I'm actually just gonna stick that underneath the plastic or the, the later paper. Somebody's calling my cell phone that I don't know. So I'm just gonna turn that off. Um, and then I'm going to actually just lay my ribbon down like that. Okay. Now this here is, um, just some copper clay paper. So I'm actually going to angle this as well, just to give it a little bit of dimension, not that, you know, it has to, or, or anything like that. So I'm just going to lay this on top like this. And I'm going to use my tear and tape again. Now I could have cut this piece a little bit more narrow, but it's okay. I've just used scrap for this. Okay. So, and like I said, I don't have any more of the copper ribbon, which is so incredibly beautiful. Um, everything's rolling into me here. Okay. So I'm just adding that as another layer of um, dimension. Now what I want to do is I have pre-cut these because um, my die cutting machine is out in the yonder 
So I, this is just a piece of early espresso and I've cut two branches off that. So you can see that here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of move this to the side for a second and I'm going to bring in a piece of very vanilla. And what I'm going to do is we're going to do a technique and it's called rock and roll. Not sure if you're familiar with it or not, but I'm going to use this stamp right here and we're going to create a really cool, hopefully, um, <laughs> image that will really showcase a lot of the fall colors. I love doing this technique in the fall um, because I find it really does kind of remind me of like the leaves and that kind of thing. So some of you might kind of start to panic when you see me do this, but trust me, it's okay. All right. So I'm going to take my leaf and I've got this in my mossy metal. And like I said, it's very, very juicy. Um, probably much juicier than I want. Actually, I probably maybe should have used my other mossy metal. That's a little bit uh, drier. And now I'm bringing in my Cajun craze. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this just very like with my wrist into the Cajun crease. And what that is doing is that is actually just giving me ink. I don't know if you can see it on the edges of my, um, um, stamp. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp this down. And once I stamp it down, you'll see what I mean. Okay. So I could have actually put a little bit more Cajun craze on the tips of my leaf. Um, but my mossy metal is very, very juicy. Can you see there's just a very, very faint orange, um, along, I'm just going to turn my light down a little bit, baby there. Um, on the tips of them. Okay. So now I need to die cut this out. So give me one second and I'm going to die cut this out and I'll be right back. All right. So I am back and I have die cut this and here is my leaf. I do wish that it was a little bit more orange, but that's okay. Um, it will work nonetheless. So I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, got a tickle in my throat. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this up on dimensionals. And so the reason I want to do this is I want to be able to put my branches or my twigs or whatever you want to call these, um, just tucked underneath here. Okay. So I find myself that when I have um, dimensionals underneath. It just gives me that little bit of space. So what I'm using here is just some um, fine tip glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tuck this underneath. I'm just going to leave it there. Let it do its thing. I'm going to do this one as well. So again, if I had thought about this before I die cut these, I could have used my um, adhesive sheets, which would have made gluing that down much, much easier. So closed, this card does not look like anything. Ooh, la la. Right. It just is kind of like, Oh, that's kind of a weird looking card. Like why is your, why is your leaf on the bottom of the card? And it's not really centered. Um, and I just want to show you what it looks like when it's, it appears that my internet is chugging here for some reason. It's very delayed. Okay, let's try that and see what happens. Yeah, very, very delayed this is for some reason all of a sudden. Okay, hang on. There. Okay, so I just did an update on my um on the software that I use to run this um to do my videos. So I don't know if there's a glitch there. So I, my apologies if that cut out. Um, but this is what your card's going to look like closed. This is what your card will look like opened. Okay. So I'll show you my original card. And this one actually has the copper paper or sorry, the copper ribbon, um, which is right here. And you can see the tips of my, uh, leaf are a little bit more orange. And then I just did the exact same inside. Okay. So super, super fun. Okay. That's card number one. I hope this video kind of cooperates while I'm doing the second card.
All right, so let's see. I'm going to have to talk a little bit quicker through this one because I don't know if my internet is going to cooperate or the software. It's been acting kind of funky. All right, so let's get started on this card. So this card, I'm actually using Moody Mo. Oops, and I'm just dropping pieces to my card all over the place. So let me pick those up. Here we go. Okay, Moody Mauve is the color that I'm using here. I'm going to dump those all over here. And I'll show you the finished card as soon as we're done. So what I'm using here, is that out of the way? here is my bone folder that I'm going to use. So Moody Mauve is another one of those in colors that we love so much. And this is the paper that I'm using, which is the Moody Mauve. This is the leaves. The Moody Mauve with the gold. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down. Come on. Here. Now this side I am using the beautiful gold side of it. This paper's incredible. Okay, so there we go. And then, oops, I forgot to do something. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry and I forgot to do something actually. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this. And so when you tear, you actually want to tear towards you. I get asked that question quite a bit. And which way do I tear my paper, Cindy? You always tear towards you. So I'm going to actually place this uh, this way, okay? And I wanted this to actually go underneath here, but I'm not even going to attempt to do that. So I think what I might do is I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. I'm just going to trim this down a hair only because I wanted that underneath my designer series paper. Um, and that is not going to happen now. So you can fix most mistakes, my friend. You can fix them. All right, so let's do this. That was a good guess. Okay, so I'm going to actually place this here. Let's bring this back in the camera so everybody can see what I'm doing. That's a little bit ridiculous, Cindy. Okay, so let's bring this here. Go ahead and glue this down. So we did do this card already once in a class. So it might look familiar. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, stay with me because I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. All right. So what am I doing here? I have gone ahead and I have um, die cut this leaf. And what I've actually done is embossed it as well. And I embossed it with this new embossing folder, which is uh, Distressed Tiles, I think it's called. It's absolutely beautiful. It's in the holiday book. Check it out. I'm going to pop this up because I want to have a little bit of space. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place this on an angle there. I'm going to use my fine tip glue. Make sure this is still recording because now I'm a little bit nervous. Um, I'm going to use my fine tip glue and I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down. These are the vines or veins or vines. What do we call them? You folks know what I'm talking about. This part. So this would be another one. If you have the um, adhesive sheets, please use your adhesive sheets. It would make your life so much easier. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down like this. I'm going to take a block. I'm just going to do that for a second. Um, and then I'm done with my fine tip glue, I think. So no, I'm not. I'm just lying. I'm just totally making that up. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, I've got my card over here that I keep eyeing to make sure I'm not missing any steps because I'm kind of rushing here a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. I'm missing. I'm missing something. I think I lost a piece along the way, my friends. Oh, well. Okay, we'll just make do. I'll find it after my video. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put, I'm going to actually put this one here like this. And then I'm going to put um, maybe this one here. No, where do I want to put this one? Yeah, I don't like that one there. So let's do this instead. Oh, my fingers are not working. Like I can't feel anything being picked up. Okay, so let's put this one here. And then I can put this one over here. And put this one down yonder yonder that's a good word yonder 
Um, and then actually what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in this leaf, which is, <coughs> excuse me, a little leaf. I'm going to bring in wild wheat, which is a lot of the, I know a lot of you guys don't like this color. It's, um, some are calling it calf scour, some are calling it baby poop. Um, it's, to me, it's more of a, a gold color. Um, I don't mind it. It's growing on me. I think it's good alternative for gold. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the die and I'm going to take this over to my die cutting machine and I am going to die cut these out. Okay. So I'll be right back. All right. So I am back. And so what I've done is I've die cut my leaves here. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add these in here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to just add some more color to my card. Um, so it's not so mauvey. Okay. Um, I might actually just switch this one and this one. Let's maybe do something like this instead. Um, so I did mention that this ink is very, very, um, it's new, right? So it's very wet. So when you're going to stamp it, you'll see that it didn't give me really the effect that I wanted because I pushed too hard. Um, totally uh, my fault um, with that one. So just be cautious as you're using your ink pads. I think if you've been around for a while like I have, we're so used to those old ink pads that you have to bang, bang, bang to get a decent coverage of ink. And these new ones, you, boy, you sure as heck do not need to do that at all. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're, uh, as you're stamping. And again, I'm going to have to write myself a big sticky note to put in front of me that says adhesive sheets so that whenever I go to do these types of cards, I remember to use my adhesive sheets. I'm terrible for that. All right. So this is may or may not stick. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll put some, this one right about here. And then maybe use a leaf over here. And I'm going to show you where the inspiration of this card came from. Oh, sorry. My fingers are not cooperating and this glue is not cooperating either. Okay. And I'm rushing because I, I, the video is messing up on me here. So um, I'm just trying to get through this because I don't want to have to start the video all over again and cut more cardstock and such. Okay, so let me just do that. And... Okay, and then I'm going to put this one up in here. Okay, so let's let that all just do its thing here for a moment. I'm going to put a clear block on that just to give it some weight. Yeah, it keeps my, I can tell my video keeps hopping around and, oh, so frustrating. Okay. And it's, um, they've just done a new uh, software upload for this. And apparently it's not cooperating. So I should have maybe not done the update. Um, okay, so while that is doing its thing, um, I want to showcase these that are in the book. Um, they're enamel effects and they come in copper, gold, and silver. And I think they're one of those things that completely get overlooked in the book. And so I'm going to use the copper. No, I'm going to use the gold. I think I used gold on the, my original card. So now you want to be very cautious how you use this because if you're not careful, it will come out in a blob. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put a very small, I'm just very small squeeze. Okay. see what I'm doing I'm just creating just 
filling in some of that blank space. So these are a really, really awesome way to decorate your card if you don't have embossing folders or those kind of things. Okay. Um, so they do need some time to dry. So I'm going to leave this one, but I will show you my original card. Um, so this is the card that I designed originally. Um, this is what I was looking at off camera for you to see, but this is the original, original card. So if you were in my Daisy class, this, this layout is going to look very familiar. Um, so you can see here, we still have, let me just move this one out of the way here. So we have, um, both papers, just slightly different sizes. Uh, we do have our focal point here. We emboss the paper. Here we use designer series paper. Here we use twill or uh, linen thread and here we didn't, okay? So essentially the same layout, um, just totally different colors and totally different uh, stamp set. So I hope that you enjoyed those cards. And again, my apologies if this did not go as smooth as I had hoped. Um, but hopefully the next video that I do will be much better for you. So again, I hope you enjoyed the cards. I'd love to hear your feedback and your input. And if you'd like to see some cards coming into the holiday season with another series with measurements, etc., let me know and I will be happy to produce those for you. All right. Thanks everybody. Thank you for joining. I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you again and we'll chit chat soon. Bye. Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a